James Worthy. Bird, smothered, goes up anyway. Well, you said it, no question, that Larry Bird, the man the Celtics will live or die with tonight. Magic Johnson short with the jumper. And here's Dennis Johnson on the break. And here's Kareem at the other end. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with an incredible play. Here's Kareem. What a move he puts on Henderson to slide by. A little trip there. Still enough balance to put it in. What a play. And ML Carr is going to make his entrance. Goggles and all. First dead ball. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the sky hook. He's break try. It's two on one L.A. Worthy Cooper. And it's Michael Cooper with a two on one. They got this. Parrish out to Maxwell. It's a three on two break for Boston. They go to Kareem. Inside move against Parrish. And an offensive foul against Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Throws it into the hands of Ainge. L.A. is back on defense. But Ainge is going all the way in. McHale. The basket is good. As Bird and McHale exchange high fives. The smaller players are in here now. He's guarded by Worthy, and here's Scott, a smaller player. He can jump over the top with the fall away. And, or they think they can do everything. Bird going in. Great body control. Bird puts it on the floor, and a nice pick set there by McHale to free him. He eludes Kareem, the balance of... ...his own team up. And by uh, challenging the commissioner, I think he was trying to get the refs on his side, but so is Pat. There's a purpose to it. Six seconds on the shot clock. A three-point attempt by Michael Cooper is good from the corner. Being track of the temperature here in Boston Garden, and it says 91 degrees. That's inside. Outside is pretty delightful, Tom. What about the air conditioning? Well, I'll tell you, Boston <laughs> Garden spared no expense to air condition this game for tonight. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Cooper, Scott, Worthy. <laughs> And Wilkes. And there was James Worthy with an exhibition of his quickness inside. Here. Foul was on Jamal Wilkes' his second. Larry Bird. <laughs> Something up with Larry Bird. It gets it low. Puts a move on Byron Scott. What a move by Larry Bird. And he was in the picture too, Mark McGuire. Ains from Bird. Five, second period. Here's the sky hook. The famed sky hook. Jack Nicholson does not have as good a seat here in Boston as he does in L.A., Tom. Well, against Magic Johnson. Moving inside. The basket is good and a foul. 13 foul against Boston. And Worthy threw up an air ball. Well, you've seen that before. Kareem almost lost it. Ah, top hey, ah. top Jack fighting for the rebound. Here's Magic, off the mark. Lakers had several chances, and here's Larry Bird chucking down the court. And Michael Cooper is fouled by Kevin McHale, I believe, at the other end. Fouled deliberately. Here's a great steal by Larry Bird. Off he goes, and watch the second-best passer on the team, McHale, give it right back to Bird for the cramp. Up the other end, you see Maxwell, after a great play like that, you don't want them to come back with an easy one. Yeah. Here's Kareem. Rarely misses a sky hook that close to the basket. Magic Johnson looking inside to Rambis. And Kurt Rambis gets free and a fine pass from there. Bird. How does he do it? The great ones do it. Look at all that attention he gets. He pulls up so he can loft it over. High score, Parrish, oh! and a foul. It was number a lot, but when he gets the ball in that good low post position close to the basket, he's as unstoppable as... Lakers have 14 fouls, Celtics two. Sky hook by Kareem, the all-time leading scorer. Five seconds to go, Henderson to McHale. Block. for their 15th world title. Lakers trying to win their night. And a steal by Larry Burns. Came right behind Kareem to make the steal. Maxwell going strong. Wide open, Dennis Johnson. And 
the Lakers trying to come back. They're in the championship series for the third year in a row. And Magic and Kareem. Take a look at Kareem slipping in. And a beautiful pass over the head of Maxwell to Kareem. And a one step up and in. Looking for Kareem. Not easy. And Kareem's made that much headway. They were down by 13 after three periods. Cooper going for three. That'll help. Michael Cooper with a three-point play. A sky hook. Double team. Here's Worthy inside. Stuffs it through. Cooper, Kareem, basket good and a foul. And the Lakers come right back. Time. Magic Johnson goes up without the ball. And here's Dennis Johnson, two on one break. And a block by Cooper. What a play by Cooper. He saved the basket, a sure basket by Boston. Worthy coming back, hits the jumper, and it's a three-point game. 105-102. Lakers trying to cut it to one. And he loses it. Again to Dennis Johnson, who's going in against Cooper again. And this time he's fouled. Coming down the court, once he was saved by Cooper, but not this time. And all those mistakes he made by the Lakers. Dennis Johnson hits the free throw. Five-point lead for the Lakers. Cooper going for three points. Kareem gets the rebound. Goes up short. And it's in the hands of McCann. And the Boston Celtics have a five-point lead. Dennis Johnson using up some time. And now a foul. No basket. A foul was called. Cooper tried the three. Kareem tried the baseline shot. And the Lakers came up empty. And now there are 26 seconds remaining. Eight successes against Los Angeles Lakers. And Minneapolis for that matter. You know, Casey Jones, it's the first time that a Celtic coach has been in the finals in his first season as a Celtic coach. And it'll be the first time that a first-year Celtic coach has ever won a championship. Crowd control becomes a factor right now. And beefed-up security is evident surrounding the court. And the do. 26 seconds to go. They've got to go for three points. Plays and foul. They're going for the bombs right now. Uh, having real difficulty, Dick, just getting the crowd off to play the remainder of this 26 seconds. Casey Jones is asking everybody to get back. The photographers are all around. And now the Celtic players are urging the fans to stay off. Oh, good. Seven-point lead, Boston ball. And a foul. Casey Jones is smiling. He knows he's got it. And Tommy, that 15th World Championship for the Boston Celtics ironically comes one year after their most embarrassing moment in recent years. They've got a 37-year-old center. Other than that, they've got some great young talent and people like Magic Johnson and James Worthy. Worthy, Cooper, even this kid Byron Scott's going to make his presence felt next season more and more. That's still very much in it. You know, you go seven games, that's one of the classics. Final second. Cooper goes to three. It's over. Celtics are the NBA world champions in a grueling seven-game series with the Los Angeles Lakers. The Celtics with the best record in the league beat the team with the second best record in the league. The final score, Boston 111 and Los Angeles 102. Fifteen world titles. Another banner will be hung from the rafters at Boston Garden.
we will have the presentation of the O'Brien Trophy to the new world champions. Pat O'Brien will try to get a word from the Lakers. We'll be back with Brent Musburger and the gang with post-game ceremonies in just a moment. What a spectacular finale to a record-breaking season, Red. It's my pleasure to present the Larry O'Brien Trophy to the NBA world champion, 1984 Boston Celtics. Congratulations to Red Auerbach, number 15. What a way to go. Congratulations to KC Jones, who did a great job all year. And congratulations to Alan Cohn, Don Gaston, and told the Dupee for their ownership. Let me grab a word with a couple of the players. Cedric, 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 let me ask you about this.